What is up guys? Malcolm here from Majestic Skies and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my 360 camera here that I've had for uh, two years. I think it's been on the market for about three and telling you guys a story about how this camera survived being hit by massive hail inside of a tornado worn storm and uh, it's still been running ever since. That happened about a year ago and I've still been still been enjoying the camera and able to use it and uh, I'll show you guys the video of what happened basically but uh, I'm a storm chaser and I got this this camera primarily to mount onto the roof of my vehicle and get some incredible time lapses of storms developing um, and uh, you know hopefully get some tornadoes um, basically on video with this so uh, you know it's been pretty successful with that I definitely got some incredible footage but unfortunately there was one situation where this camera just got completely hit, obliterated by a storm now uh, basically I was chasing this storm in Saskatchewan it was uh, Estevan, Saskatchewan, actually right on the border. Very high risk day. Um, I think there were at least two or three tornadoes that day um, from Saskatchewan into Manitoba. So right at the start of this event though, basically, I was, I was right there in position to chase it. The storm was forming, moving right towards me. And I was uh, driving to get ahead of the storm, but uh, the road just ended right in front of me. There was nowhere to go. And I had no time to get out of the way because the storm was moving extremely quickly, uh, very suddenly. It wasn't a slow moving storm at all. So I was basically hit very, very hard by this tornado worn storm. Um, probably the largest hail I've ever seen. Completely destroyed uh, my vehicle. Uh, my windshield was destroyed. But this camera um, somehow survived the onslaught. So I'll show you guys. There's a couple surface scratches on this one side of the lens, which I don't even know if you'll be able to see in the video. They're pretty small, but you can see kind of the outside of the ring there, just all the dents from all the hail hitting it. And this side of the camera got completely spared, more or less. There's not really any damage to this side. Um, overall, pretty impressive considering uh, what it was up against. Uh, and that was one of, the, one of the reasons I got this camera, is I knew it was going to be pretty durable. Um, certainly it's built very well, very tough, um, and it's water resistant as well. So I knew in the pouring rain it wouldn't be any problem, but um, yeah, obviously I didn't intend to leave this out and hail that large, but I just basically had no time to get out of the car and, uh, and get the camera out, so just had to get hit basically. <laughs> and when I first got out of the vehicle after uh, escaping the storm, I honestly didn't even think this thing would turn on. And uh, surprisingly, it, it's basically almost like brand new. A, you know, one of the scratches does affect the image very slightly if you really, if you really look. But I'll show you guys some photos of after the incident, and uh, you know, you can still get, I can still get some pretty incredible results with this camera. So uh, yeah, basically, we just wanted to share that uh, that crazy story. I would still highly recommend this camera, even though it's a little bit more outdated now. If you're wanting something really durable. Uh, if you're not going to be taking in those kind of situations, there are better cameras out there um, on the market uh, as of now in 2019. But um, for what it is, if you're wanting something you know somewhat still affordable that uh, shoots great pictures and pretty good video as well in 4K, um, this camera's holding up pretty well. Holding up pretty well. Now, one of the other things I'm uh, considering doing with this camera here is basically. I found an online video explaining how you can remove some of those surface scratches that I didn't end up getting, um, you know, in the storm that I was uh, obliterated by. Um, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to actually go ahead and do it because um, basically the, the method that I saw online consists of uh, putting in kind of a, a compound to uh, basically strip away at uh, fine layers of the lens to remove the scratches and kind of just smooth out the whole surface. But the issue with that is sometimes you can remove kind of the anti-glare coating um, of lenses by doing that. So not 100% sure if I will. Um, the you know, camera is very, very usable as it is um, right now. But uh, I'm considering it, you know, to, if I can get it back to like 100% brand new working condition, that would be, that would be even better. So uh, anyways, though, I do thank you guys very much for watching this video. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.